good afternoon <laughs> it's not in the morning anymore hello i hope everyone's watching this is doing well my name is bells if you're new here and today we of course have it's going to be a days in the life vlog because i've been trying to do weekly vlogs i either get overwhelmed and forget to vlog or i'm literally doing nothing i'm like what's the point of vlogging and then when it comes to putting it together i'm like i don't like the video so we're going to do days in our life to make it a little easier for me so i'm bringing along my day um as you can see from the title it's that time of the month i'm on my third day so it's calmed down a little bit before i get to talking to you guys my room is overwhelming me <laughs> i've just got everything everywhere um this is just a mess absolutely everywhere um i filmed yesterday as well as got pictures for content for a brand Bo avenue who i've actually got a shoot with tomorrow so yeah that's fun i'm excited but yeah, I really need to tidy this room. I really like <laughs> being in this room and having to vlog. It's just anxiety. What do you do, baby boy? The young ones don't know. <laughs> better i'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom to talk about what this vlog is about which is how my days in the life are like when i am on my period so let's go ahead and do that i've got to even ask you guys do you guys like my hair <laughs> i blow dried it um, i'm actually going to braid it up later on today because like i said i've got a shoot tomorrow but i was like let me just have my hair all puffy and out this video is kindly sponsored by Kalali, which is a period product startup company and the inventors of the tamp liner and i'm going to show you all about it as that is what i am currently wearing right now so Kelly have launched a full range of products from pads, tampons, tamp liners and night pads as well via online subscription. So essentially you just order the products you want along with being able to customise it to your flow. <laughs> Mine, I'm not going to lie, is heavy. I'm just a heavy girl. My periods last about like a week. Um, this has legit just been ever since I got my period. My periods, like it ranges, but it's always been between medium to heavy heavy I'm just it's just one of those that's just the way the body flows <laughs> is that TMI that's not TMI it shouldn't be TMI so like I said you can mix and match and have it customized to you and get it straight to your door so it makes it so much easier there's been times where um, I legit just haven't bought enough like I'm not well equipped so ever since college I've just become like a tampon girl I find that when I wear tampons I just don't feel like I'm on my period whereas when I wear pads if I cough sneeze laugh get up out of my seat move a little uh giggle <sighs> I'm reminded <laughs> and I don't like that I completely understand people who prefer um pads the security of not having anything up you or anything like that but for me I just love it up there. I still obviously wear a pad to sleep, that's why I have night pads. So this is what the normal tampons look like. Like I said, I wear super and it's 100% organic. What I was really keen on trying out were the tamp liners. This is how they're packaged and you take it off like so. It stays in your labia so it's nice and secure in and what you do is you push it. Make sure you've got, you know, nice distance in between your legs so you can get up there. <laughs> Push up like so, so it looks like this. And then when it's time to take it out, you then pull it back like so. So it's nice and secure and ready to throw in the bin. And voila! So by joining the subscription, you get your first box free. I'll leave the link down below and all the information that you guys need. Feel free to ask questions and let's get back into the vlog. So like I said, today is the third day of my period. Third day is when it goes from heavy to like really light. So the rest of the four days are going to be light, but it still lasts a whole week, my period. Yesterday though, it was my second day and that is the heaviest day for me. And that's where I get pain, usually the first and second day. I'm going to insert a clip of a very honest 
how I feel when the second, first and second day happens on my period. So I'm gonna insert that now. I'm gonna insert Monday's clip. Do you know what's crazy? Like the thought of like contractions being worse than this. Because hmm. like in con when you contract, you can't even breathe. It's just really uncomfortable. I ordered um, I ordered some Five Guys, so it's on the way. Cause ugh, it's one of those weeks. It's a whole cheat week. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. <sighs> They've never been so bad. Guys, I do not cramp, but I get these sharp pains. <sighs> I don't understand why I laugh when I'm in pain. I don't understand. But I'm, it's, it really hurts. It really hurts. Oh, am I trying to turn around so I can get up? I'm not even with my camera vlog, but I still wanted to vlog because this is the realness, you know what I mean? guys milkshake the strawberry one especially is my favorite to do actually i'm not having that that was good though i'm not done with my milkshake <laughs> so yeah um the sharp pains are not a joke uh, they are not a joke they legit feel like a needle just going up like just a sharp pain up the bum it's, it's so uncomfortable It'll legit make you like I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. If, am I the only person? Because I saw a, twi a tweet that went around like a couple months ago and I was like, oh my God, I thought it was only me. But um, I even sent it to Adi. I was like, oh my God, look, it's not just me. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me know if you guys have that. But you know, one thing about me though, when I'm on my period, I am actually really productive. However, the PMS, <gasps> just before my period, like the three weeks before, that is when I'm whiny that's when i complain a lot that's when i just feel really crappy about myself that's when i just get bloated um yeah mood just moods all over the place and cramps and then my period comes it's like oh okay i'm not crazy and then i can go back to doing my things um it's four o'clock my nail appointment's at five so i'm gonna leave in about 30 minutes i'm going to be watching real housewives of potomac here you guys know i love my reality shows when i'm just on the go Yes. Afternoon guys, oh evening guys. So I had a nice cup of coffee as well as a croissant from Lidl. Lidl's bakery croissants are just amazing. They're absolutely top tier. I'd recommend them to everyone. Now, like I said, I've got a shoot tomorrow. Um, I have to be ready by 8.30 and look at my hair, guys. Look at my hair. I had to clean my downstairs area. I always have to do either Friday, Thursday night or Friday to clean. If not, it really, really, really like, stresses me out. Like, I never used to be this person. Like, honestly... I used to be messy, but now mess, mess legit like irritates me. Like it really puts me in a really bad mood if the place isn't clean and tidy. Like I cleaned my room earlier today and I'm like, oh, it sounds so pathetic. But I'm like irritated again because like I've got a lot of PR, a lot of PR. Especially when I get like unnecessary PR, like I'm not going to say the brand, but one brand gave me like a massive balloon, like a massive balloon and they had a mascara in it and when i tell you this this balloon was like this like huge in a huge box with a tiny mascara i'm just like first of all this is just not sustainable and second of all like why why do you think people want a massive balloon 
a random massive balloon in the house I don't, I don't get it but anyway oh sorry this is going to turn into a bit of a rant like I said in my room makeover I'm just trying to have less less clothes less makeup less unnecessary things so when I get like things like a massive balloon that's it that stuff honestly it gets on my absolute nerves because it's like where do you think people have store that saw this I'm like oh my god guys look at this giant balloon with the mascara inside of it I don't even like balloons. I'm not a balloon fan because I don't like the sound of balloons popping. No, that really irritated me. Anyway, <laughs> just annoying little rant. So right now I'm about to braid my hair and I need to style it because I'm going to, like I said, a shoot tomorrow. And you guys are so surprised at the fact that I can braid my hair, but it's, it's taken me a long while. I even had to get like my nails shorter. They're really pretty, they're gorgeous, but they're not practical. Okay, I think I, I think I'm just more irritated at like messing everything because I'm on my period. I could get I, th I think it's because I'm just getting more worked up over little things. <laughs> but anyway, let me braid this at the back. Oh, halfway done. This stuff is long, and then I've got to straighten a wig and curl a wig. Ugh. There's not enough hours in a day. But basically, oh, I wanted to show you guys um, a clip from the other week of me getting a tattoo um like i said i've tried to do weekly vlogs they just don't work so i'm gonna just do it days in the life and just incorporate stuff that's happened in my week but yeah i got a tattoo i'm gonna say here let's take a look at this like yeah. just take a look in the different <laughs> positions and see is it the perfect one or... so yeah that is the so wave cute the air sign i'm gonna wait for it to focus come on focus ah oh, there you go yeah that so is sick the air signs and then episcian five eight in braille so that is so five, cute eight. how are you feeling feeling great <laughs> my arm hurts i'm just holding it like this <laughs> i can't bring it down <laughs> i'm excited there i haven't got a tattoo in a year oh not bad what inspired yours you need to put the camera on yourself and you can say so. Oh. Well, <laughs> the waves, I don't know. I just like waves. I feel like waves are really calming. And then obviously, air, air sign. And then the, the Bible verse. They represent their life. Yeah. Oh, can I put my arm down there? Yeah, you can take a look. Here with the camera. I'm actually nervous. You've got this, girl. Don't worry. It's on my rib. It's fine. It's a bit, is it? Yeah, someone really is. Yeah. It was gonna be, oh, it's literally obsessed. gonna be that, a scratch, like what I just did. Yeah. I, do you wanna hold my hands? Yeah. I'm here for you, girl. Actually, you you know, and it's just gonna hurt. <laughs> With these long mm. ass nails. It's not gonna hurt, we'll yeah. see. Loading up the red, and it's gonna look so pretty as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm here. Oh my God. Your body looks great. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. You've got this, you've got this. <laughs> it's been a year, I'm not, okay. You've got this, just you breathe. In and out. Because you've done one on your chest. Yeah, girl. You're crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was, that yeah, girl. I hold your hand. You held on my your hand. Chest. Oh my God. Come on, you did behind the ear, you know. I was terrified for that, but it didn't hurt. It's, that one was my least favorite. This is probably like this then. Yeah. You're going to be terrified, and then it's going to be like, yeah. oh, actually. This is a good, a good. You got this, you got this. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, it seems a little bit on her side. <laughs> she looked at my hand now. I'm like, okay. You could. Yeah. Just try it's to fine. control your breath. Oh, okay, there. okay. If you breathe too deeply, mm -hmm. your skin gonna okay. move up like. Just in and out, in and out. You, hold on, do you wanna hear something in particular? We can play a song? Yeah. A genre? This is fine. You I okay? Don't mind. I'm trying not to talk too much. Okay. I'm trying to talk. Okay. <laughs> don't really like sorry, sorry. Stop. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. It looks great. Obviously, don't stretch, girl. Oh, sorry. I got it. I got it. I'll take a picture for you. So yeah, I got a tattoo. I got a red ink. I'm so happy about it, and I got it in a place that 
is really cute and the messaging i mean it's not really for anyone else it's really for me because it has like a personal meaning for me so it looks like it's really like cocky and arrogant but it really isn't like a cocky and arrogant quote it's just something that's followed me along and it's just a reassuring one for me because i don't really feel like explaining it if you get it you get it but it's not an arrogant like it's not an arrogant quote is what i'm trying to say i need to finish off the second half straight in a wig curl a wig and hopefully i should be done at like midnight i'm not gonna be done at midnight i'm gonna be done at one o'clock in the morning so let me go ahead and do that Fifty-six a.m. I am exhausted. It's time for bed. I have to be back up at seven. So let's do this. Oh my gosh, I've got a spot. Don't know if you guys can see spot right here and it's under the skin there's nothing like a spot when you're on your period all these spots around my chin area are because of um hormones <laughs> so i can't really there's no way to really get rid of them Is here when I'm finished, with guys. With the oh my god, wow. it's not working. Hi, guys. Cute. Cute. Your hair is so good. I need to. It's broken. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the glitter. I look like an absolute idiot. Do I really want to go and finish the shoot? Um, do I really want to go into West <laughs> Westfield Village with glitter on my face? But I'm never in Westfield, the white city one, so I'm gonna go and buy some things. I'll show you guys later. Guys, oh, so I am back home. I am tired. Last time I spoke to you guys, I was leaving. I just had a cup of coffee, so I was just feeling a buzz and feeling all the energy in the world. And I was like, oh, I finished early. I'm gonna go do some shopping. I had a bag in mind that I really wanted to get. But I didn't know that the village in Westfield don't have Balenciaga, don't have Fendi, don't have Chanel. Like they're, they're really limited. So I was just like, you know what? It's a sign. But I did pick up a new perfume, a little Tom Ford. If I can have some assistance at days holding the camera. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it really quickly. So, I got a perfume I smelled literally just then. It's called Tom Ford Metallic. It smells really, really nice. It's like fresh, sweet. I'll try to have the notes in the description because I don't know what the notes are yet. They only have 50 mil, but I like mine 100, but I have so many perfumes I haven't even finished all of them. Let me spray. It's not one that I would normally go for, but it's quite nice. It's a fresh, fresh scent. It's, I'm pretty, I'm definitely sure it's unisex because it smells also masculine. And uh, I need to shower and chill out. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I need to 
take care of this. I hope you guys like the vlogs. I hope you guys like me being busy and um, talking about periods because I spoke at his face. <laughs> this video is about getting shit done whilst on your period. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video for more videos and vlogs from me. And I'll catch you guys later. Mwah. Bye.